Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Um, like to welcome everybody for to uh, come into this webinar on behalf of um, Insurance Advisors Direct. Welcome everyone. Um, I also would like to welcome Robin Kane, who is the Medicare Sales Director from McLaren. I uh, would like to take a minute and talk about uh, IAD for just a minute. Uh, IAD is a full service FMO, um, field marketing organization. We provide a wide spectrum of services, including lead generation, product offering, technology, sales tools, training and education. That's my, really my favorite, and that's what we're doing today. Um, and also marketing services and administrative services. That's another one actually that I like the most administrative services. We have a really great team to help you through the contracting and everything. So uh, we have a full team in our office, uh, make you successful in the field. Uh, before I hand it to Robin, I would like to, Robin will be talking about McLaren Medicare sub, Medicare Advantage and DSNIP plan. And those are really, really great plans. Um, and yes, we do have my Medicare uh, supplement with McLaren as well. The good thing is that uh, they're coming out when we use our CSG quoting tool, uh, they're coming out as the you know the top uh, rates, and that's why you should get Medicare. Um, you should get con contracted with McLaren to sell them Mets up as well. So, um, and also one contract will cover uh, you for MAPD and to sell MAPD to sell Medicare supplement and also under 65. Um, so all in one contract. So you don't need to do a lot of work. So if you have any questions, please type them in the chat box and then we'll get to them. Um, other than that, without further ado, I will turn it to Robin to talk about McLaren Medicare Advantage. Thank you, Robin, for being here. And thank you for having me. Um, and, and like you heard, we do have a med sub plan. It is very, very competitive. And mm -hmm. really, if you're appointed to sell a Medicare Advantage, you can also sell our other lines of business, being the MedSup and the individual. Um, so again, don't, don't overlook it when we're selling stuff. Um, but I am going to start. I guess you, everybody can see my screen, right? You can, yep. see, my you screen. can see Okay, it. so I'm going to get started. And this is going to be quick and easy because um, I'm not going to try to do a deep dive into the benefits. I'm going to give you guys an overview. So really, who are we and what do we focus on? We're really focused on government programs being individual plans, Medicare and Medicaid products. We are big, big in the Medicaid world, and that gives us an advantage that you're going to see um, as I go through this presentation. Um, we are not a narrow network plan. That's one of the biggest things that we need to overcome as a plan. Uh, we are based in Flint, Michigan. We do have offices in Lansing and Auburn Hills, and this year in 2023, we service 58 counties in Michigan's Lower Peninsula. We also have a plan in Indiana, but I'm not going into that today. Um, we also have a partnership, and I believe it's 11 Walgreens stores, and I don't know how many of you are outside of the Detroit metro area, but if you've seen those, they're pretty cool, and it is branded all over the place with McLaren inside those clinics. It's like a, you know, a walk-in urgent care clinic, and I know they're very popular in northern Michigan. So um, what is our service area? This is what we look like now, the 58 counties we're in. I do know peak under the tent for 2024, we are growing our footprint and expanding into more counties in the lower peninsula. So when we look at um, really, we're gonna continue focused on adding more providers and it kind of my thing that I can say to you guys, but I can't say it to like to the, you know, to prospects, but we are more than McLaren Medicare. So um, a lot more than just McLaren. So who are we and what providers do we have? Who do we contracted with? So here's basically the list. There are some more probably smaller ones that are um, with us. It's easier for me to tell you who's not in our network than who is. The true original, I'm going to call them the original Beaumonts because Beaumont, I don't, again, I don't know what area everybody's from, but Beaumont um, several years back bought Oakwood and Botsford. And um, then, you know, there was a Corwell merger that they're now part of Spectrum Health. Well, for today and for now, the Beaumonts that are not in our network are the original two locations in Royal Oak, Michigan and Troy, Michigan. We also do not have Trinity Health. 
that kind of, I don't want to say it hurts us on the west side, but if I flip back a slide, you'll see that this Muskegon, Oceana, and Mason counties, that's kind of Trinity land in that world. And that's, um, you know, why we don't have those, those counties right now. So that's all we're really missing. Um, if you look at it, we've got all the other big name players in the state of Michigan are part of our network. Um, the McLaren um, Now Plus clinics, again, they're walk-in, they're very cool. This is where they are. And again, I spend a lot of time up in Petoskey, Michigan, because it's my up north place to go. And I know when I first started um, with McLaren, and it's been a little, little over a year now, um, I went into them. And like I said, they're really, really cool. And when you bought, walk in there, you feel that the, you know, the Walgreens, it is a huge partnership because, again, it's branded all over the place with McLaren. And again, these are really in locations that McLaren hospitals are the, the main hospital. Um, one of the things that I always get asked for is, do you have any leads? And the answer is yes. Um, we're kind of changing up the way we're doing things. I had a long, I think I spoke to Jason on Tuesday. I can't remember what day I had to talk with him. Um, but first of all, we do have agent of the day programs during AEP that we're gonna have them um, in McLaren facilities. We're gonna have new kiosks for 2024. I don't know if any of you have ever been involved in an agent of the day program. But most of the time, you know, you go around and you put tables out in these hospital lobbies and they come in next time and it's moved someplace else or they put you in a corner by the cafeteria thinking that, that that's who you want to talk to. Well, what we're doing is we've got kiosks that are going to be branded. They're going to be in prime locations in the lobby um, and they're not going to be moved around. So I think that's a good thing trying to get a more static location. Um, also in the Walgreens stores that do have those McLaren clinics, we do have opportunities as well. Now. Moving forward, and we're still working out all the details of this one. This is really an exclusive agent lead program. These are organic leads. We didn't buy them from any place. Um, where we're getting them from is number one, all the marketing that we do. Um, it, it generates a lot of people going online and requesting more information, requesting a guide. And we're taking those and we're working directly with, with field agents. Um, I am very, very pro field agent. I did not want to get started with any kind of a national call center or anybody that takes those. So again, we are ext extending those to agent partners. Um, again, the program itself, I know I'm going to have everybody raising their hand, say, hey, I want some of those leads because they really are exclusive. They're only going to one person. And the person who went on filled out quite a bit of information. So they probably remember doing it. Um, and again, we're kind of, we're, I don't want to say this, we're working out the details of exactly how that's going to work. Um, and when I talk about the other leads that we get, because we are so big in the Medicaid market, we get lists of every month of, of you know, a few thousand people that are aging in to um, Medicare. So these folks are typically dual SNP, dual eligible. Um, and you call them up, they're already on a McLaren plan and I've got it all scripted because you make yourself, you know, look like you're you're basically calling on behalf of McLaren. We can call to them because they're already our, um, they're our members, so we can call out to them. So that's exciting. For the few agents that I have tested this with, it's working very, very well. Um, so how's our fit within the market? First of all, we have two HMO plans, one HMO PS, P, one HMO POS plan, and um, a DSNP plan. We are not for everybody, okay? If you've got somebody that says, I spend three or four months a year in Arizona or Florida, or they're really big travelers, this might not be the plan for them. Again, we're not looking to put people in where they don't belong because all you're going to do is upset your prospects or clients that you haven't put them in the right plan. So I do, you know. Um, when we look at the other things, our premiums, um, you know, we've got a couple plans at the zero dollar, like everybody else. What I love is our out-of-pocket maximums that I'll go over in a minute. Our provider network is a very vast network, and our Part D that's built in um, is really, really strong. So again, um, understand the five Ps and how we fit into this marketplace. Um, so this is a top line. I really didn't want to read benefits to you, but just so you know, we see the, the Inspire plan, straight HMO, the Inspire Plus, also a straight HMO. We also have the Inspire Flex plan. And what's interesting, if you look at the column in pink, that says zero. That's zero dollars for the folks that live in the counties in the little first column by the arrow. And then the same plan is $49 a month 
um, if you live in the other county. So we are really targeting the counties that you see um, that fall under the 01 sub subheading, okay? Um, because to me, with every carrier I'm with, with every plan, and I've been with a couple other carriers, um, I always have my favorite plan. That Inspire Flex is, is my favorite plan. Um, DSNP, $8,300 doesn't really mean anything. CNS requires to put us a mount in that box, but everything's covered at 100%. So not only do we have the zero premium plans, if you look at these maximum out of pockets, especially when you look in that, you know, for the, I don't know, 11 counties or so, maybe it's 12, maybe it's 15. I haven't, I don't remember. Um, I think it's 11. If you look at that $0 plan in those counties, a $3,800 out of pocket max, that's, that's huge. So many agents sell to the extras in the plan. All plans have extras. Are there some extras that are stronger than ours? Absolutely. Um, are there some that are weaker than ours? Absolutely. But again, I really believe in selling to that out-of-pocket max because at the end of the day, this is a medical plan. And I know every year when my benefits come up um, for renewal, even in my world, the first thing I look at, well, if we have a really bad year, what's the maximum I have to pay? So I think that more agents should really be selling to that um, because at the end of the day, um, it is, you know, it is a, a medical plan. Again, no Part C deductible on any plans. We don't have any PCP co-pays. You don't need a referral to see a specialist that's in network. Our Part D also has no deductible on it. So I'll go over that in a minute. So exciting stuff. Again, really strong plans. Um, in this deck that I am gonna share afterwards, um, it can get emailed to you guys. It has all the breakdown of all the plans, but again, I didn't want to read to you line by line. I just kind of want to show the top things and our strengths. Extra benefits, like everybody else, we've got dental. I'm going to call it preventative plus. We have a $1,500 annual benefit um, in our regular plans and a $1,000 annual benefit in our DSNIP plans. The best thing about our plans is we do use Delta Dental's network. So it's great that you've got providers that are giving three, $4,000 um, and benefits, but if you can't find a dentist who takes them, it doesn't do any good. Right now, our vision, you just go directly to one of our um, in-network optometrists, and you get either a $100 or $200 annual allowance for frames and lenses. Most of the plans do have a $200 allowance. Our hearing for our hearing aids and exams is through True Hearing. If you've never used True Hearing, they are, I would say, really the best of the best. I have personal experience with them. Um, because my husband wears hearing aids and he's actually younger than I am. He's been wearing them since he's been about, I don't know, 45 or so. Um, so he's the poster child for everything that we do. Um, True Hearing is great. Basically, the member calls True Hearing on an 800 number. They give them the zip code they live in, and they're going to get a list of all the providers in the area that they can go to. And they really do have price price fixed and really deep discounts um, on the things. So I'm sure for either $6.99 or $9.99, those folks are getting a, a good hearing aid. That is a per hearing aid cost. So that means if they get um, ones for $700 a piece, it's going to cost $1,400 a pair or $2,000 a pair. So again, you know, we have a lot of other plans that are giving a $1,200 or $1,500 allowance toward hearing aids. This is really the same thing, but that true hearing partnership really gets them more for their money. Fitness, we don't have a silver sneakers or a silver and fit. Um, right now, we do have an annual reimbursement. We do have an over-the-counter allowance of $55 or $60 per quarter. The company that we use is you can do it at most retail players that you would know of. Um, you just get the stuff straight at retail, or you can order out of a catalog and go online, or you can call it. And so any way the member wants to do it, they can use it. It is a separate card. We do have transportation built into all plans. We do have the meals post-hospital stay, and we do have a personal emergency response system covered at $0 for those folks that qualify. And again, these are 2023. Um, we're going to have a peak under the tent for 2024 soon. Probably mid-July, we'll be coming out with that. Um, Again, I'm not going to read this to you. I'm just going to give you the top line in the prescription. Again, we have no deductible in any tier of our prescriptions. One of the things that I hear all the time that really pushes our um, plans, especially when you use Medicare.gov, I know IAD does have a proprietary tool or a tool that they give to you guys. But if you look us up at Medicare.gov, you're going to see us push to page one because it's an extremely strong formulary. 
We have tier one and tier six, which are really generic and maintenance drugs that are covered at $0 copay. And they're covered all the way through the plan. So even if the member goes into the um, coverage gap, they're still not gonna pay anything for those tier one or tier six. If they do use mail order for that 90 day supply, they are making two and a half copays. It's so funny, I must have a typo in here. Three, I'm sorry. Now, if they use the mail order rather than um, retail to get refills for the three month supply, they are going to make two and a half copay. So they are saving money there, especially if they're in some of those tier four drugs. I mean, they can save $75. So again, good savings to do that. Even before we had to um, have the select insulins, the senior savings model select insulins, we did participate with it. And again, and our our prescription partner is MedImpact. Again, uh, when we look at this OSB optional supplementary benefit, this is what our um, what our plans look like. The ones that are you know that are built in. Okay, and when we look about getting more comprehensive um, coverage, this is what it costs to to buy up. So um, it's great that we've got buy ups, but. We also have a good built-in plan if that's all they need is preventative plus. This basically has all the links you would need to find anything that you're looking for, and they are live links. So again, I'm gonna ship this over and um, it can be shared with you. Um, and who am I? I'm Robin Kane. I have three folks here in the state of Michigan with me that are out in the field. If you're interested in joining us, all you have to do is send your, your name, your email, and your NPN number to this, and you'll get a link from us that allows you to get appointed with us. Please write or in the notations um, that you're with IAD, so we do assign you with the correct upline. Um, I do, you know, there's, a, and the rest of it's an appendix. Not going to go over it again. I know that you guys can read it. Really goes more in depth about how everything else is covered in the plans and some of the other things. I, there's a few few of us on, I mean, we can open up the lines to ask for questions if you'd like. You're on mute. Yeah, let me see how I can do that. Um, or throw something in the chat if you have any questions. I can allow everybody to talk. Um, okay, everybody can talk now. If you have any question for Robin, go ahead. That's, uh, you know, I have a question myself, actually. Uh, the LEAD program, uh, do you, is there like a system? I'm sure there's a system. But as far as disposition, so when the lead comes to IAD, uh, we assign it to the agent, but do we get the disposition from them like manually? So, so what it is, so what, I'm just gonna say right now, so we are, we are in the process of changing platforms. We are moving over to Salesforce and we're also getting a new enrollment tool. So for now we're doing it with spreadsheets and there's simply a drop down that they would pick the disposition. You know, we're 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 not that techy. We're not trying to make anything difficult, and okay. we just ask that at the end of the thirty days, send it back. Um, and we're kind of looking for um, agents that I don't want to say are already selling with us, but we're almost thinking like you know, sell one, get five leads. Um, you know, as we get more into AEP, so we're looking for folks who are really committed, who understand the plans. Um, because when you are calling these people, you're really calling on behalf, especially the folks that are aging in, of McLaren Medicare, because that's like a privilege that we can call these people without getting permission to contact. The other ones we do have the permission to contact on. But again, these are going out to, to one agent, one agent only. I'm not blanketing it across 30 different people. Um, if you were to buy these leads out in the world, they would cost anywhere between thirty and sixty dollars a piece. So wow. again, they're good, okay. they're qualified. Um, a lot of people, and I don't know if anybody on the line has ever dealt with these lead programs. You'll call somebody, they don't remember filling something out, they accidentally click something online. Um, the folks that we get with the permission to contact, they've gone online, they've gone to a certain link purposely because okay. of some something they got in the mail, made them react to it. You know, they didn't accidentally go into anything to do it, so. Okay. All right, all right. Um, yeah, I don't see any other questions, but that is, the, you know, agents ask for leads. <laughs> so I know, like, that's, like I said, so we're know, adding, very important, right? Yep, and again, that's why I really wanna partner with the, um, 
with the aging community. During AEP, I do have those three internal salespeople and we were having them do the outbound calls. Okay. But at the end of the day, I need them out in the field because supporting the aging community, I don't need them doing it. And let me tell you, there's a lot more in it for a field agent to call and make it than it is for somebody internal. So there we go. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, Robin. Once again, this is this uh, is recorded. So I am uh, for the people that they couldn't join. I will be uh, after it gets edited by a marketing department. Then I will actually send the link, and it's going to be exciting because the leads is what I keep hearing. I want leads. I want that's leads. Right. That's what I hear from everybody. And like I said, yeah. the aging community is near and dear to me. Um, right. I don't think anybody in this call knows me because you're not from the, my husband's an agent and that's been our, our livelihood for the past, you know, 30 some odd years that he's been doing it. He does own his own small agency. So again, um, you know, I, I, I get the agent community, a big supporter of it. So there we go. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. I don't see any other questions, but I tell you what, this is really, really good information. And uh, once again, I told you a lot of people, uh, uh, they're excited for the leads and they will be, uh, I mean, it's a good plan. I tell you, it's, uh, but once again, uh, I'll be reaching out to the people to get, uh, to distribute this video to them, send it to them. And uh, hopefully we can uh, contract some people, especially if they want, if you're really looking into the Met sub or looking into under 65, it's all one contract. Yeah, and it's easy, and it there's nothing. Oh, I done it. I've done it. Yeah, even it's the, easy. Even the test, it's like it's easy to do. Breathe. I wrote the test. It's not like I don't know if your contract. Like, who's the one? Is it is it UHC? That's like a nightmare that you have to go to all different systems. So again, <laughs> it's simple, and I hope it always remains simple. Right, 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 right. Okay. right. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, uh, Robin. Thank, thank you. you very much. This is really, really good. Uh, we'll be emailing um, everybody uh, on the list, whether they attended in this, they attended this webinar or they didn't. So this is an awesome presentation. I really appreciate it. Um, if, once again, if you know any of you, if you're not contracted with McLaren, uh, you can call me at 248-946-4640. And I'm at extension 127, David Brassam. Um, also, you can email me, drassam at iadbrokers.com. Uh, come and uh, once again I would like to thank you Robin and thank all the attendees for being here uh, with us and I'm sure we will see you soon and uh, once you roll out this lead product I'm sure Jason will be involved so we'll work on it and we'll make it successful okay thank, thank you, you very much for your time. I appreciate thank it you. thank you Robin I appreciate let it let me know thank take you. care yep bye-bye bye-bye